this morning I was rudely awakened with the fact that there has been a watch released about a month ago dedicated to Bruce Lee. So the behind story is that Seiko was celebrating their 55th year of the release of their 5 sports range and it turns out that Bruce Lee was one of those prominent figures who likes to wear this watch. Uh, so as someone who likes to collect few watches as you can see here, I couldn't resist the temptation to get one myself. So I immediately head down to Chisholm Hunter whose staff was extremely friendly by the way. They even offered me a glass of Prosecco as well which I had to refuse because I had to drive. But really want to thank them for spending all their time looking for the last remaining model. So I'm really excited to do the unpackaging and demonstrate to you how cool this watch is. So enough said, let's get into the unpackaging shall we? So. Here it goes. All right, to start with, we got a thank you card from uh, Chisholm Hunter, so thank you for that. So the next one is the actual main box itself. Open up the actual cover, and then it comes with European guarantee and instruction guarantee card. All the instruction manual for various kinds of model, I'm sure you are familiar with that. Nice, look at that. Seiko, Bruce Lee with this Chinese sort of patterns which are gorgeous in gold and black. So if you were to open up the main leather box, wow, we've got the golden writing of Bruce Lee's signature, limited edition indeed, and a yellow strap with the black line on it. And we all know what this means. And the actual main strap is leather black. So if you were to take it out, the first thing I could spot is this squeaky sound and it turns out that this is indeed a calf um, strap okay from Seiko and it's actually a contrast of black front on the back it's white and uh, we got the dragon symbol going all over the place here and it says LOLWB22, which I'm not sure what it means. 6,417th model out of the 15,000, which we all know is a 15,000 limited edition. Uh, with a yin and yang symbol, we got the writings, main writings from the Qi Kwon Do, which I've been told. And on the other side, we also have that writing continues around the bezel. The actual design of the watch itself is also gorgeous as well. It's edged in a gold all over the place with Seiko automatic and we got Mer 21. So basically what I've discovered here so far is that if you were to pull it out one click, if you turn it on to the um, anti-clockwise, uh, the date has changed to, let's check it out. So some, was it Sam or Sun? Um, and then we got Dim, Mun, Lung, to Ma, Wend, Me, Thursday, Ju, Friday, Ben, Saturday, Sam. Okay, so I think this is like Luna and um, the Western way of pronouncing it. And then if we were to turn it on a clockwise, we could see the date changing. So that's how you can readjust the date and the day of the week. And if you do the second, click out that's where you could actually adjust the time and it's really smooth because this is Japanese craftsmanship I greatly admire their craftsmanship indeed and it's not that thick I have to say compared to the other watches that I own and it's a really nice size as well so I'll actually put the label shortly of the specification on the left hand side here uh, so please do check it out while I actually show how cool this watch is. Look at that. I don't know whether that's zoomed in if it, enough for you guys to have a look. Wow, the bezel movement is really tight and you hear several clicks. So let's do a bit of an ASMR, shall we? So, that's how it sounds. So let's do a quick Google uh, language translation, shall we? So it says limit on the top by, I know that second word is none. Okay, so we've got law by none limit for something. So there's another limit. So it seems like, means like 
uh, no limit for um, having no limit or something like that. So at least I hope you guys appreciate my effort trying to translate it by Google Lens because this is a tech channel. So that's how it looks like on my wrist and um, it's really nice leathery feel. We've got Seiko logo here and I have to say it's a gorgeous uh, looking watch on my actual wrist indeed. Lovely, that's all I can say, isn't it? But again, when you look at it, you just get that really strong feeling, the effect of Bruce Lee coming from the design itself. So because I don't know how to change the strap itself and don't want to ruin anything and keep it original as possible, this is how it looks with the actual yellow and um, black strap. It looks really cool, doesn't it? It's Bruce Lee all over the place. I really like this one, but again, my purpose is not to wear this, but keep it as original as possible. So I would like to recall the moment, first time I saw this watch in real life is that, again, I was a bit concerned about the bezel itself, seems to be a bit plain and large on the actual website, the way how it's shown, but in real life, it's neatly done and it's so nice. When you actually get the feel of the watch unit itself, it feels like marble all over the place, which is something I think I would say personally is like a Asian kind of feel to it. Now, um, if I have to point out a few things that I'm not happy about, is that probably it's too cheap, I would say, for the quality of the watch that you get. But then again, watch experts will disagree. They have their own judgment on it. I'm not, I'm not an expert on it, but it does make a squeaky sound. So I don't know in the long run how long this squeaky sound is gonna last. Also these stitches, these white stitches seems to be not convincing at all, especially in the back. It does look like those stitch marks are tearing apart in some ways. And actually on the front side, the white stitch seems to be worn out a bit already. So not too sure how long this is gonna last. But then again, I'm not planning to wear this watch. It's one of those collectible items that I would like to leave for uh, many decades to see how much worth it's gonna be. I'll probably pass it on to my descendants, um, especially to my daughter to see what she's gonna say about it. Maybe she's gonna end up giving to boyfriend and so on, but who knows? Anyhow, it's something gorgeous to have and look at it time by time and admire the beauty combined with my great respect to Bruce Lee, dedicated to him indeed. So I hope this video gave you a good idea how cool the Seiko uh, watch is. But if you have any queries that I missed out, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.